my legacy. Um, I have been thinking a lot about that lately, and the legacy I'm really interested in leaving has to do with the next evolution of the water industry. This conference has been an embodiment of that, about the values of doing what's right for communities, about doing what's right for our staff, and um, thinking within a broader context. I feel like it's something that I'm doing actively right now and something I'm really excited about being a part of. I'm excited to really tell you about my take on what my water legacy is. Does your water legacy or my water legacy reach those outside of the water industry? My water legacy, it not only increases um, awareness of the importance of the environment because water is so tied into environments and really all forms of life. Um, it also raises awareness of, of the STEM fields, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, being a, a young woman as well, um, I'm hopefully kind of passing on this um, influential message that you know, even though it's traditionally a male-dominated industry, that with persistence, you can do anything. A lot of guys, they can pretend that they're not struggling with it. It's, it's really all the same in terms of um, having those achievements to really get there. What gives me inspiration is seeing the good work that we're able to do in the communities around us. I'm inspired by uh, the growth I've seen in our industry, especially amongst women um, becoming leaders. And that's what I hope to help contribute to uh, my water legacy, helping my community, helping my region, but also bringing uh, more women in up through the ranks uh, to be leaders in our, in our service sector.